Hey there, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at one of the coolest features of the Yolo Box Pro, network bonding. This is a real game changer for live streaming and I'm going to show you why. So this here is the Yolo Box Pro. It's a really versatile streaming device and I've been using it for quite a while now. It's really easy to use. It has a heap of amazing features like multi-camera switching, graphics and overlays, vertical streaming and heaps more. There's a playlist on my channel and I will put a link to that at the end of this video so you can go and check videos out with more detail later. Anyway, today we're focusing on one specific feature that is fairly new and makes the Yellow Box Pro stand out from the crowd, which is network bonding. Network bonding is a technology that combines multiple internet connections into one stronger and more stable connection. This can help you avoid buffering, lagging and dropping out of your live streams, especially when you're streaming in high quality or challenging network conditions. And we've all done that before, like when a whole heap of people pile into a room and they've all got their own mobile devices and they're absolutely flooding the Wi-Fi or flooding a cellular tower. If you're using one of those at the same time, you're going to notice that when all of your audience turn up, your bandwidth is just going to plummet. One of the things that makes the YOLO box so versatile is that it's got several different ways of connecting up to different network connections. It can use Wi-Fi, an Ethernet connection, and up to two 4G LTE SIM cards. That means you can stream with a combined bandwidth of around about 40 megabytes per second, which, if you're into streaming, you know, is a lot more than you're ever really going to need in a live scenario. So how do you use network bonding on the Yolo Box Pro? Well, it's real simple. Let me show you. Okay, so here's my Yolo Box, and I'm going to simulate doing a live stream with the Yolo Box Pro using network bonding. As you can see, I've got a couple of cameras plugged into the HDMI as well as a microphone, and I've got a couple of different network connections. Now, the first thing you need to do is activate network bonding on the device. To do that, you just need to be in Accounts and Settings, click on Network Settings, then Network Bonding, and enable the network bonding. Now that this is set up, you can bond all of the available networks. Quick note that if Ethernet doesn't work when you first set it up, just pull the Ethernet plug out and plug it back in again, and it will pick it up. The second thing you need to do is make sure you've subscribed to the network bonding feature on YOLO Live. Network bonding is not free, but it's totally worth the cost. You can choose from several different packages depending on what you need to do and the budget for it. Basic package is 300 US dollars a year, and that covers 20 gigs of data, which is actually quite a lot. There's a 500 US dollar a year package for 50 gigs, and a thousand dollar package with 100 gigs. And you can also pay monthly if you prefer. Now, if this seems like it's quite a lot of money, well, it's not cheap. Obviously, there is a massive amount of infrastructure going on behind this. YOLO Live have huge server farms that can recombine all the packets at their end and then encode them and send them out real time. And they also keep a cache of your stream as well so that you don't get any outages or drops. There's a huge amount of work that goes on and it's definitely worth the money. Also, if you're doing this kind of live streaming and your clients want the reliability of network bonding, then that's a premium that they can that you can on charge to them as well and make them understand that if they don't want to do that, then there is a risk involved. It's not a lot of money per job if you're doing at least one or two jobs a month. To subscribe to network bonding, it's real easy. You just need to click on activate now and follow the instructions in an email that you'll receive from Yellow Live. You'll need to enter payment details, of course, and confirm the subscription. The last thing you need to do is start your live stream. Easy as. You can choose from different streaming platforms as you can normally with the Yellow Box, including YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, etc. And you can also stream to multiple platforms at the same time with Yellowcast, which is another awesome feature of the Yellow Box Pro. To start your live stream, just tap on the platform that you want to stream to, enter your stream title and description, and all of the usual bits of information. Choose your output resolution and the bitrate, target bitrate, and tap on the go live button. The Yellow Box Pro will automatically use the network bonding now that we've turned it on to optimize your streaming quality and stability. 
And that's it. That's how you use network bonding on the Yolo Box Pro. And if you've got any questions or suggestions or comments, put them in the comment section down below. Thanks heaps for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay creative, keep streaming, and watch one of these other videos that's up in front of you now, or the playlist to tell you a lot more about the Yolo Box Pro. See you later.